So this is a RC circuit problem. We have a circuit given EMF of 15 volts and this is in a series with a capacitor and a resistance. What else we know is that at time 1, which is this, the, capac uh, the capacitor has a charge of this much and at a very long time the capacitor has this much charge on it. And what they are asking us is to find the capacitance and the resistance in our circuit. I also put the description of the problem below the video in case you want to pause the video and write it down so you can follow it easier. Alright, let's get to it. So, let's find the capacitance first and for this one we're gonna use this formula and this formula, these two. We're going to start out with this one. Q equals Q final times 1 minus E on the power of negative T over RC. Here we're going to switch our Q final for EC. We're gonna use this one, our Q, we're gonna change it to the voltage times capacitance for us the EMF. So Q equals E times C, the parentheses stays the same. There you go. Now we're gonna work with this time, T2. At T2, we know that the time is infinite. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug in here, infinite. If we do so, that's gonna simplify this formula quite well. So let's see, this, if we plug this in here, the this whole term, is gonna go to zero so we're gonna have Q equals EC times 1 so QEC from here we can solve for our capacitance that's what we are looking for C equals Q over our E C equals our Q from T2, since that's the one we're working with, 1.70 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs, and in the bottom, our EMF is given 15.0 volts. Our capacitance comes out to be 1.13 times 10 to the negative 7 farads. There you go, this is our capacitance. Now let's find the resistance. We're gonna use this formula again. So I'm gonna write it down. QF minus E negative T over RC. And we're gonna divide by the QF, so we'll take it on the other side, Q equals, I mean Q over Q final equals whatever we have left in the parentheses, 1 minus E negative T over RC. Now we're gonna take the 1 on the other side and multiply the whole thing by negative 1. Now I'm going to multiply it by negative 1. So that's going to be 1 minus Q over Q 
final equals e on the negative t or c we're going to take a natural logarithm of both sides ln of 1 minus q over q final equals ln with the e they cancel each other so all we have left is just the exponent negative t over r c there you go now we're gonna divide the whole thing with by negative t this way it's gonna disappear from here and it's gonna come over here ln 1 minus q over q final the whole thing divided by negative t equals 1 over r c now we can get rid of the c by multiplying it's gonna move up here let me write it over here c ln 1 minus q over q f final over negative t will be equals 1 over r there you go and now simply we can solve for r r equals this times this over this negative t over c times ln 1 minus q over q final now we plug everything in for our t we're gonna use our t1 so that's negative 5.4 3 times 10 to the negative 3 seconds our capacitance we just found it it's over here 1.13 times 10 to the negative 7 farads times ln of 1 minus our q from q1 will divide it by our q for um, q2 1.58 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs divided by 1.70 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs and if we calculate this out we're gonna have our r equals to 18,100 ohms and this is our answer I almost ran out of space over there but we made it there you go